it's Simon here welcome back to the Hermit's Cave so um, it's been a while it seems it's it's strange not uh, getting home from work and you know jumping straight in and doing the corn streams but I kind of miss it as well <laughs> but at the same time it has given me some time just to you know with everything I've got going on to spend a bit of time with um, family and sorting things out there and having a bit of work-life balance, which is always welcome. I've got a mug of, uh, mug of coffee. And I thought we could have a look at this deck together. Now, this is a, a real surprise. Um, it's arrived today from the guys over at Liminal 11. Um, I am a reviewer for Liminal 11. Ever since I purchased their first deck, which is the Lunar Sol, I adore this deck. I did I did modify it, and that's the original size of the cards. Um, but I I love this deck, absolutely love it. Um, the artwork is fantastic, it reads great, it's just great. So ever since I did the review, they contacted me, and the box is getting a little bit bash now <laughs> um, and asked if I wanted to review the Modern Witch which another deck of theirs that I absolutely adore um, and they also sent me the limited edition of that and then the Cosmic Slumber which also I adore and I've got the limited edition of and they improved their um, boxes since this one because you turn it upright and it slides out so a little alteration they made was this little panel, magnetic panel at the bottom, which keeps everything nice and secure. Um, so yeah. So I got a DHL notification to say that um, Liminal 11 was delivering a parcel. They said tomorrow. So this, you know, I got the notification yesterday. And I just assumed it would be the White Newman, which is a deck that I know that they've got coming out and they said that they was going to send. So I kind of expected that. And when I opened it, I saw that it was the new chapter tarot. And I know absolutely nothing about this deck. I didn't even know it was coming. So it's very much a surprise, but also very much a first impressions and walkthrough video because as I say I know very little about it it looks like the box is in its style like the cosmic slumber um and it it looks like it's beautifully presented which you know that's exactly how liminal 11 um you know manufacture and produce their decks they are superb when it comes to the overall presentation let's take off the plastic oh i love the the blingy gold is really nice so as you can see here it's got um and they they do what i love about um the people at the team at lemon 11 is their commitment to diversity in decks um, so we have the new chapter tarot. It's by Catherine Briggs. Um, gorgeous in terms of its box and presentation. Sturdy box. It does have that magnetic bottom again like it did on the um, Cosmic Slumber. So on the back, it says a complete 78 card tarot deck with instruction. Sorry, introductory booklet. A story, a journey a self-portrait of change. The new chapter tells the story of a woman who had to leave her old life behind and return to her home country following the end of her marriage. Each card is a meditation in paint. The completed deck represents a new life, a circle of hope and friendship and love. Wow, so because I don't know anything about this i'm wondering if this is catherine briggs's own experience because that's very specific 
tells the story of a woman who had to leave her old life behind and returns to her home country following the end of her marriage. But with this being called the New Chapter Tarot, how wonderful for those of us who, you know, are entering into new face, phases of our life, you know, new beginnings, new journeys, new chapters. Um, so it does seem like it will be a deck to, as it said, a meditation in pain to sit quietly with and absorb these images. And there's only, you know, six little tiny thumbnails on the back here, but the artwork looks beautiful and really colourful. So let's take a look. So it slides out like this, which is really nice. And we have the NC for new chapter. Beautifully presented. <clears throat> it looks like we've got the little hardback book again. So and there's some extra pad in here so let's take the cards out so that we can remove this extra extra bit bit of padding i don't keep these yes they might you know move about a little bit but that's absolutely fine it looks smaller than a standard tarot deck so we have these oh, beautiful little hardback book we have full color uh, thumbnail images And we have a bit of information and a reversed meaning for each card. Oh, look at the artwork. Wow. This is really lovely. So we have discs. Let's, um, let's move the box. This is really sturdy and really, really well put together. Beautiful. So let's move that. And let's see what we get in the book then. So we get, um, it's 2021, so it's brand new out. A forward by Rachel Pollock, wow. An introduction, major arcana, minor arcana, exclusive cards, reading the tarot, and then some spreads. So this is the forward that is written by Rachel, which will be an interesting read, I could read anything that Rachel writes. Such a beautiful writer. The artwork looks incredible. So Rachel Pollock, author of the 78 Degrees of Wisdom and co-creator of the Raziel Tarot. Um, an introduction. So here it says, the t now the only criticism I've got is the font is kind of small. Um, I mean, I have a magnifying glass. I don't think I need a magnifying glass. I can read it, but because it's quite late here, um, it's dark. So it is a little bit of a struggle under a lamp, but I didn't start out thinking this would be an actual deck when I began working on a version of the Wheel of Fortune. It was my way of processing a very complicated set of feelings. I had come to the realization that my relationship was ending. And it wasn't just my relationship that was on the line. The life I had built for eight long years had come to a turning point. I was an immigrant on a marriage visa with no professional contacts in my home country and outside of my family, no community back home. Was I prepared to, to blow up my entire life? Would I risk what the what was known for what could be. There's a reason I cast myself as the Knight of Cups. So it's a very personal experience here. So this does feel like a very personal deck, which is, you know, which is great because when somebody shares their story, there are countless other people who are in similar situations. And, you know, knowing that other people have been through similar journeys can be really helpful. But also having a tool that has been created by somebody who has had that personal journey um, to help other people in similar situations, I think, is, is just magnificent. So we've got spreads and things at the back. And as I said, we are all, this is just beautiful, we are all at some stage in our life where you know we're at that transition point 
where something ends and something new begins and we're we're faced with um sometimes a lot of uncertainty but also a lot of possibilities so the cards are quite um small i quite like the size of these cards um but what i do like is i know we got all that extra packaging um the boxes remain you know the same so they stack lovely together um irrespective of the size of the cards so if i show a standard um rws you'll see the size difference so it's the same width as a us games uh tarot card but it's it's a little bit shorter but it's a nice larger than a playing card the backs are beautiful obviously not reversible but that's fine but they are stunning wow okay so let's have a sup of coffee and have a look at these cards it is a chunky deck which means it's good card stock it is really lovely card stock it's not too thick it is matte although there is a, a sheen but they're not glossy at all they are matte finished and really really nice i'm loving them so let's take a, a closer look <clears throat> Okay, so here we have our fall, and we have a fall looking in two directions here. And it's wonderful. We've got like almost the, the tools that we'd see on the magician card, you know, we've got the um, the pentacle or the coin, the sword, the cup, etc. I love this hair. This is really... And we have somebody at different stages of life as well. This face of the fall here looks a lot older which is really interesting. Here's our Magician card. Beautiful colours. I feel like I'm picking two cards up because these are, as you can see here, look, really nice thick cards. A High Priestess card, which is from the, the front of the box beautiful you can see the gold really glistening here now my priestess card our empress wow isn't the artwork stunning i love that she's holding the crescent moon here the emperor I'm not quite sure what he's holding it. It's got a feather stuck in. I wonder actually if the book gives you um, the detail of the card or whether it's just a, an interpretation. So here we have our emperor. It says the archetypal father, the emperor, encourages working within the laws of the land to find success. Yeah, it doesn't... Uh, doesn't really give you a description of the card. Beautiful use of colour. We have teacher rather than the hierophant. So I know a lot of people will appreciate that. Um, those of you who kind of struggle with, uh, you know, the kind of more traditional religious aspects of some of the tarot cards and archetypes. Teacher is quite a popular, um, what's the word I'm trying to, to use? A popular alternative. The lovers. Wow, that's really interesting. Again, we see the, the tools quite a lot of the sword, the wand. So we get these kind of four circles here, but we've got these hands in the middle which are clasping together. And we've got like a hand fasting with these ribbons here, which is quite beautiful. We get the elements represented too. The animals, the chariot. 
interesting twist because we often see kind of like a sphinx pulling the chariot but here it's very much in the, the driving seat justice is eight rather than strength which is which is interesting that is beautiful love this hermit card wow it's almost like the hermit is part of the landscape is this mountain very grounded and rooted of the earth beautiful card and this series you know this is the first time i'm seeing any of these images i didn't even know this deck's uh, existence up until about two hours ago the wheel of fortune beautiful strength card that is really gorgeous a hanged man also blindfolded oh partially blindfolded yeah because i mean with the hangman for me it is about looking it's about looking at the world from a different perspective so i'm glad he's still able to to do that death wow beautiful kind of stained glass window effect behind temperance that's interesting. Looks like somebody who's conjoined. I love these little angel wings coming from the side of their heads. The cups as well with this rainbow colour. The devil. Tower. Some of the image, images look quite abstract. I was trying to work out if that was something in the center or whether it was just space. It almost looks like it's the shape of something. Almost like there's a piece missing. Star is interesting. Beautiful. The moon. So this is very very different to what you might be used to if you're, uh, you've learned tarot reading with the RWS, you know. Um, it's a wonderful variation, but it is different. I don't think it's, you know, trying to follow necessarily the RWS system. And I think that's very much because of it being such a personal journey to somebody. And, you know, you can tell just by these images that these really are tools for meditation. As the, you know, as it said on the, on the box, a meditation in paint. We have the universe. I love this. A serpent right around the arm, but then we've got this beautiful sun. Also very rooted and grounded part of the earth. Ace of Wands. I wonder if this is a pip deck. Wow. Yeah, it is quite pipish. Four of Wands is quite RWS like, you know, that sort of that frame, that structure here to represent some sort of kind of celebration Six points. love this tattoo here this kind of looks like a griffin
if we have for our courts, rather than the page, we have princess, probably prince, no, princess and knight, and then queen, look at these colors, and king. Wow, look at that king of wands. That is awesome. Holding this beautiful bird and the lion behind. Our Ace of Cups. These are gorgeous colours. The pinks and the purples, stunning. is incredible. She's a beauty. I love these rich colours. Artwork is really stunning. Here's our Three of Swords, which is usually the um, the card that's associated with pain, sorrow, heartbreak. But look at this hooded, it's almost like a death card. We've got the scales here and the swords. This is beautiful. Although it does look like it's been punctured and this looks like blood, but it's a mythical creature, this unicorn. Some of these images are really powerful. Look at that. Discs rather than pentacles, we have discs. You can almost touch the texture there. Wow, look at that the five of discs. Remains. Very much an earth goddess. Love these antlers on our king and queen. And then we have a couple of extra cards. We have a gratitude card and we have an invocation card for this moon cycle. Look at that. So this is an 80 card tarot deck. These two additional cards. There you have it. So this is the new chapter tarot. Um, I really like it. I think it is a beautiful, beautiful deck. Um, and as I said, what I love about uh, the team at Lemon Eleven, you know, they don't 
they don't rush decks out you know there's they take their time um they just seem to whatever they produce has been given thought um it looks like they're really trying to celebrate artists that we perhaps might not necessarily be aware of but it's it's well thought out and it's well considered and this is something quite unique um and to say i knew nothing about it and it came today it's a it's a wonderful surprise it fits nicely in the box um and yeah i'm i'm thrilled so it's certainly a deck that I'm going to enjoy working with and trying to, I don't know, have a different experience with. I think I like the idea of working with this as a, a bit of a meditation tool as well. And, you know, I do feel currently at the moment that I'm in this sort of transition phase where a new chapter of our lives as we come out of lockdown and the world is changing and we're trying to prepare for that change. This will be quite a useful tool to work with. So let me know your thoughts. As always, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on this deck. Um, have you heard of it before? Perhaps I'm just late to the party on this one. Um, do you have it? Have you begun to work with it yet? What are your experiences of it? I'd be interested to hear. As always, thank you for watching. I will be back on Saturday for Cup of Catchum and Cards and it's the time of the month where if you want to come on and join me for a coffee, you're more than welcome. Just drop me an email and um, yeah, I'll send you a link and you can come and join me and we'll have a, have a chat. All right, guys, take care and until next time, go in peace, namaste and blessed be. Thank you.